G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags and welcome to the road to Neuhof. It is bloody early in the morning, we are in the twilight hours, sun is just starting to rise and I've decided to take yet another day off the main storyline. I'm sort of hoping the storyline that I accidentally triggered at the end of the last episode isn't timed so that uh, I haven't got the pressure on here because there is a bunch of other side quests that I have been meaning to do for some time and just haven't had the opportunity to do so. So our first run is the road to Neuhof. Now Neuhof of course is the horse stud farm that was attacked in the the very start of our first major quest. Oh, Might have been riding you a little bit hard there. Um, incidentally, that is exactly why we're going back there. It is, of course, a horse stud farm, and while Pebbles has been a good ride up until this point, I need a better horse. Nah. So I'm sort of hoping I will be able to get one there. Something that's got a little bit more stamina, a little bit more weight carrying capacity, um, a little bit faster, you know, just a little bit better in all areas. I've got about, you know, 3,700 gold, which should be good enough to buy something. We'll just have to find out exactly what it is. And we also want to check around and see whether or not there is somebody that will sell me saddles or other horse equipment here as well, because um, I've only got what Pebbles came with. What I would really like is something like that. That looks really nice. Yeah, someone with a little bit of cloth and drapery and the rest. Now, I suspect I've left a little bit early this morning, so there's probably not going to be anybody up just yet. But I brought some books, so we should be good. Just want to have another look at this. Yes, yeah, some nice saddle bags, nice looking saddle, water skin or wine skin off the front, and then these this drapery, this cloth off the back. I'm not entirely sure what it's actually called, the technical term for it, but I'd like to find a place where I can get something like that. I haven't seen that in any of the stores anywhere. And it's definitely a sight better than the uh, the saddle I've got. So I'd like to. Hello, puppy dog. Oh, I can't patch you. Well, somebody's awake, so that's a start. Villager. Okay. Don't you keep barking at me. Alright, so, horses. Now, I assume the person we're going to have to talk to will be the the wife of the, the owner that was killed here originally. Um... Okay, so that's straight up better than Pebbles, but it's only marked as a horse, so I'm going to assume that's not one of the ones we can buy. They should be named. Put the stables over here. No. Horse. Horse. Okay. Um, we also have the ones over here, so I'll go over and check this way, and we'll see whether or not there's any... Over here, this is obviously where the main fire was and where the sort of investigation led us to before we went wandering off into the forest over there and wound up in a bit of a fight. The damage has an auto repaired through here. Nobody nobody manning the blacksmith. It looks like nobody's out of bed either. We've still got fires lit inside of buildings. Although, no, somebody's up and about over there. Um, and we have horses. And these horses have names. Okay, these are the ones we're after. Ali Burka? Burak? Bur I have no idea how to pronounce that. Sounds Arabian. I'm assuming an Arabian stallion of some kind. Um, 410 stamina, 15 courage, 39 speed, 252 capacity. That's not bad. I don't go on the white, though. That's just a horse. That one is just a horse. There's a load of them out here. Colmia. 21 up to 38. 172 to 188. That's not enough capacity. So you're out already, Sunshine. I want something 
know, the 250 before was pretty good. Rucephalus. That sounds Greek. I expect if I actually search all of these up, the uh, the names will actually have meaning. Uh, 21 to 37, speed increase is good. 172 to 276, that's nice. Courage, 8 to 19, that's good. Stamina, 210 to 270, perfectly acceptable. Okay, so this one here, Brucephalus, the Greek-sounding horse. Um, you're a possibility. Uh, Epona. Yeah, some of these names definitely are referring to other things. I've heard Epona in other places before. Um, inspect. And you're out already. Courage, eight, uh, from eight down to five. And my horse already runs at the first sight of a sparrow farting, so you'll be even worse. It's all right, I don't really go on that modelled look you've got anyway. Tolpa. 39... To 52, so not quite as high capacity as Greeky. Uh, courage 11 and 270. So similar upgrade, and I don't mind the look. Not quite as good as the other one. Trojan. Okay, this will be interesting. Trojan. Okay, good in the other areas, but a horse called Trojan has less courage than a horse called Pebbles. No. Noop, 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 noop. Um, not really keen on white horses. But we've got another white horse up here anyway, so we'll have a look. What a um, schmig. Uh, two ten stamina, same as pebbles. No, I'm looking for upgrades across the board, not just a little bit. That's just a horse. Boxer, 21 to 33, 172 to 212, 11 to, okay, the, it's an upgrade, but Boxer's just not big enough, I don't think. Oh, it comes down to how much these actually cost, Bayard, 21 to 35, 172 to 260, that's good, 350 stamina, 35, 260, 11, 350. that too. I like that a lot. Kelpie. 21 to 38, 172 to 188. Capacity is not high enough, 290 stamina. You'd ride forever, but you can't carry much more than a horse called Pebbles, so not good enough for me. Um... What was that one's name again? Pretty sure it was this one over here. Bayard. Alright, I think it's going to be a toss-up between Bayard and the uh, the Greek-sounding one over there. Bal... whatever it was. Balafron, or however you pronounce its name. And I reckon you're who we're looking to. Zora. I'd like to buy a horse. I'd love and to you buy trade a too, so you may be the location you get all the stuff from. Badly in need of selling some. I figured you, you would be after this place. Um, I have, I yes. Have fine animals. The best there are. Is there one in particular you fancy? Two, actually. Let's have a look at them. So, there he is. It's tier four. And Bayard, which is tier three. A strong horse. He could break rocks with his hooves. And good for any rider, big or small. Only, for some reason, he doesn't like water. Hmm. That's... less than useful. Why is it mentioning he doesn't like water? I've had to ford streams and horses already. Maybe, Maybe some other. other. What's the other one like? There's a mount for a conqueror, strong as an ox, and loyal. 2.3. And I've got 
Hmm. No negatives. It was a good looking horse, had good stats. Surely you'll knock something off the price if I trade in my old one. Let's haggle. So, 2300 is the current price. It's got to be 1500 uh, 150 in my horse that they gave me, at the very least. So, let's try that. What do you say to this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Almost. Okay. Um... Hundred gold then. Twenty two hundred. Done. Deal. I think that's one of the highest costing purchases I've made yet. Now come back here. Let's talk trade. Yes, she is the one to get all of the horsey stuff from. Comparison. Leaning away from the microphone here. Comparison. So, what have we got? Cavalry bridle. Bridle is a leather harness mounted at the horse's head. Give the rider better control of his steed, which is needed not only for general riding, but for mounted combat or fight. Durability, conditions, weight, price. Um, Grooms, Knight's Bridal, some of these get really pricey in a real hurry here. Noble Saddle. Wow. Um, I'm going to need more money if I'm going to start buying some of that. Although these aren't bad. Hmm. This one here's only 34, so let's go with that just to have a look at it. Yeah, we'll just close the deal on that one. And we have no pebbles out here, so... Oh, would you check it out? Looks like you can mount without a saddle. Yeah, okay, that just seems wrong. Okay, let's have a look and see how we can set all this up. Sidekicks, horse, tack. Oh, it's a bit knackered. Got a plain bridle, saddle bags. My infantry. Move to horse, and now let's go to sidekicks. Okay, that looked a lot more grey. Doesn't really match any marks of mine either, but I'll have to get one for skeletons if I can. Regardless, that's pretty cool. Alright, I have a new horse. So, next stop, let's see how far she goes. Yeah. She seems a little bit quicker. And her stamina uh, consumption is definitely lower. Alright, this should do me for a while, I think. Anyways, next stop will be the mill. And that looks like a young lady sitting underneath the... I think it's a beehive. Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tourney? You're a bit late. That was last night, old man, and I won it. Um, brakes on this thing are good. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to get to get something in Scalitz's colours. Uh, it just doesn't look right in that. I was hoping it would sort of be a grey and black, but it's not. Anyways. Hello there, Teresa. Or Theresa. God be with you, Henry. 
Congratulations on your victory in the tournament. Ah, so you heard about that. Um, got a bouquet for you. No, let's not give her the bouquet just yet. If we can give her the bouquet that we collected, save that for later. Although there is a bouquet decay. Everything else in the game does. Teresa, I brought you something. My, my, how. How chivalrous. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, reputation went up, so that's a good thing. How have you so, been? So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. <sighs> Back to this again. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? Nice subject for now. change. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. And where would you care to go? To the tavern to get pissed, to Gallows Hill where they hang people or a stroll along the river. Ah, uh, this is a common sense question. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Uh, yeah, let's go let's right go. now. Come on, chop chop, we got things to do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I honestly thought this would go into a bit of a cutscene right now, but apparently we are actually going to go for a walk down the river. Um... That was a good idea, to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it, so I'm glad you took me out. Well, it's my pleasure to take you out, but now that I'm actually still in control, I'm starting to suspect we might get attacked. I'd love to see the in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. That's Charming, disgusting. Henry. Well done. I'd Way love to, to listen to that you. young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. Absolutely what about that not. Fine I know that from first -hand experience. I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Oh. Let's not doddle. Okay. Last one Objective, is don't disgrace yourself, run. Run where? I'm not worried we could lose this. I'm pretty sure I could outpace Teresa even in heavy armour. Yeah, it does seem to be that way, although I'm sort of running out of stamina a little bit here. Come on, get it back, Henry. Get your wind. Actually, you know what? Let's let's let the lady win. Let's let the lady win. Okay, we're going off here. <laughs> that was fun. Sit down here next to me, Hal. That's a nice enough spot. A uh, spot. Reach a new level in vitality. Nice. And I gain reputation out of that. Cool. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well. And I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Um, alright. Six, eight, and I have no idea what Teresa's stats are. It's work like any other is what I want to say, but I don't want to get caught in a failure here, and eight is my highest stat, so... Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a okay, frog. took that well. Yeah, and that's that nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> 
<laughs> with a peak. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If that works, that works. Now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? God, Henry, you could have had a wash. Turning innocent girls' heads. With your helm, it's filthy. Um... Your knees don't buckle. I can't see what her stat is there. I can, I can beat this one. I can definitely win with that one. But that's not one I want to choose. Um. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. Yeah, right. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Mm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Alright, the, the pun about the church service, knowing the events of that church service. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay. Um, Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. I will. Alright, so, quest, log, the courtship. I must ask Teresa out again in a couple of days. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. So while we're here, at your service, my lady. Stephanie of Talmberg was an unforgettable wedding for her cousin Sophie. Buy wine from the merchant in Rete. We happen to be at Rete, so that'll be our first one. Decorative crown from the masters in Sassau. I'm not even sure what Sassau is, but that's alright. Let's start off with some wine here in Rete. So that went reasonably well, and that is the merchant's hut there, or the merchant's, merchant's building there anyway, so... Pick up the wine should be easy enough, and then we have to go into Sassau. Good health to you. Okay, Lady Stephanie of Talmberg Lady sent Stephanie me. of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia. He's happy to please. from Germany. Wine. Good wine. Ah. Mm. Ah. Would beer be enough? I As a gift for a noble woman's so. wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Shit, shit, I haven't had much more time to practice with archery, you know. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Shit. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I'm going to have to kill I'll someone, just have to find I? a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. Well, Take care now. There's nothing else I want from you. Looks like I'm winning a tortie, or I'm going to kill someone. That's probably my options. Yeah! Archery range is... I always miss it. It's, I reckon where he walked out of. Yep, there we go. Well, 
All right. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Um, keg of wine. I heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? Uh, yeah, I think I recall them. I do. Shoot faster Spend than everybody else. Hit the you. bullseye every but time. You can use your own if you want. Win. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Take. Okay, thirteen arrows. Uh, two. I need three, which will be the center. Five, that's better. I need just keep doing that. Um, I can say I recently got back into archery for real. My um my son showed an interest. Oh, that was nice. Uh, son showed an interest, so I recently bought myself a uh, recurve, and I got him a traditional longbow to start learning to shoot on, because he's, you know, it's only low pound, he's only got a, uh, a 15 pound, and I got myself a 40 pound recurve. And I can tell you... 16. Not bad, at more arrows, and I'm matching on points. Um, it is harder to keep this bow on target in-game, than it is to keep a 40 pound recurve on target for real. By a long shot. I said it in past videos, the wobbling around is bullshit from memory from when I used to do archery when I was much younger, having got back into it. Yeah, it's garbage. 23. Twenty-five. And he's out of arrow, so he's on thirty. So I need Two bullseyes. Come on. 30 match the score, and providing I hit the board, I win. That'll do it. Okay. Congratulations once more. And here, as promised, a cask of the finest wine in the province. Thank you. Reach a new level in bow. Excellent. I'm going to have to do some more of that. Um, it's the pain in the ass with leveling bows in this game too. Winning tournaments and hunting is all you can do, and I just haven't had time to hunt. Although I really should be, because I keep having to buy supplies. But regardless, that is the wine for Lady Stephanie sorted out. Now. Yeah! Are you blind for Christ's sake? There's people walking here. Don't stand at the opening when somebody's riding through in heavy armor and a horse you dickhead. You get out of the way. Anyways. Next objective. What have we got? Sassau, which I haven't actually been to, but apparently it is up here. Slajeko, or however the hell you pronounce that. And then it's right west. Talmberg's all the way up here. So it's definitely closer to go to Sassau first, and then come back to Talmberg. I would have expected the path to Sassau to be a little bit thicker than this, unless I've chosen an off the beaten track back way of getting there. We still seem to be heading pretty much in the right direction, though, so... Kinda like this place. Reminds me of getting down to a river in, uh... One of the parts of the Murray I used to go camping on when I was a kid. Just have a steep climb like that to actually get down to the water when it was at uh, low levels. Colouring even sort of looks like the Murray. 
No shallow crossings like that there, of course. You can send a paddle deep, it's paddle steamer down most of it. Nice. Are we still in the right area? Um, okay, that looks like it loops around and goes that way. That goes up and through. So we probably want to go right here. Which would be that one back there, I think. Screaming ambush to me at this point. Where are the bandits? Yeah. Oh wow. Would you check this joint out? I've never been to Sassel before. I've never actually gotten to this section of the map. This place is huge. There's buildings up to over here. And check out that. Is that the castle or is that the cathedral? It's hard to tell the bloody difference. The, uh, the larger, more formal looking buildings over here are the go. Hey, good this is a nice little veggie patch. Grapevine. Wine making. Traditional wine making. Stairs there? Master Jerome. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Yep, this is the right guy. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But... Well, well, in what? short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Well, Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Okay. Here we go. Um, of course I'll try to find the stone. Why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassal River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassal town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. Farewell. Okay.
It's hunting time. Alright, so he's disappeared somewhere over here. Um, yeah, easiest way around will be ride back and around. So it should be, it should be able to go straight at the front. Yeah. Question is, is our merchant alive and hiding out, hoping to sell the stone himself? Camp over here, or is our merchant? What are you doing here? Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Bandit time. I would say our merchant is probably dead. I'll chop you to pieces, you rat! This is actually one of those situations where I probably should have changed out to the mace for practice. God damn! I'm not countering as fast as I should be. you got on you bell shaped hey that's 500 gold for me thank you um doot, 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 doot. no I don't want that that's worth a bit though that's worth a bit though that is definitely worth a bit actually what am I talking about I've got a new horse can take the lot. Strip your bear and sell all your shit. It's fine. And you pushed out hard. I hit you once and you just died. Burgers, slippers. Dogwood. Ooh, that's worth a bit. 33 groschen. Yeah, most of your stuff, and you take the silver ring, or blacksmiths, and piercing arrows. Definitely take your piercing arrows, although I've recently stocked up myself. Most of your stuff's, yeah, just not worth even carrying. It's not even worth my effort to sell. Ooh, 
Those are some bloody looking clothes. I'm not even sure I want to know what's in the pot. Um, chest over here and... Here is Viserac. Coif red felt hat and red hose. Well, he didn't run. Another point in lock picking, I'll definitely take that. Armorous kit. Nope, nope. Felmish cloth, 270 for only two kilos. And there's three of them. Oh, yes. French altar candle. You know what? I'll grab it. What the hell? Glass goblet. 20 groschen. Venetian glass chalice. Silver. Gold. There's the moldavite. Fabric linen. Yeah, they're not worth carrying around. A couple of valuables there I can definitely sell off. You know what, now I've actually seen that his body is intact after all. Why they've got his bloody clothes next to the fire, I don't know. I do actually like it. I wonder if I can get a house over here. Must have left the door open last time. I have to apologise to the bloke up here. Okay, Master Jerome. Look at what I've got for you. Discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Well, I've got better than that. Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizak. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but... How come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. Farewell. Okay. So, it looks like I am going to be spending the night here in Sassau while we wait for this done. So I need to go and find myself a bed to stay in. Thankfully, I happen to know there is a tavern nearby, so I might head over there. And it looks like I might have to spend the day just uh, reading until tomorrow evening and getting Henry's skills up. I might even do a spot of hunting in the woods around Sassau before the start of the next video. So obviously the next one we will take the wine and we'll take the crown back to Lady Stephanie so we can complete that quest. After that we might even drop back in and see whether or not Teresa's ready to see us again for another pass. And if not, then we will, um, I guess we'll have to get back onto that main quest that's sitting there looming in the background. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As always, remember to check the video description down below for links to all my social media, my Twitch, my Discord, my Patreon, my Subscribestar. I do have a Subscribestar for those that aren't interested in helping support the channel with Patreon, but would like to try and support the channel. I understand there is a little bit of a thing with Patreon at the moment. And of course, even better than that is my Magsware store. I'm actually really fond of that. All the designs on the Magsware store are mine. And I am probably going to do something uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance related very soon. And the bit I like about that is it's a way of supporting the channel, but you actually get something. Um, I was actually saying it to a couple of my supporters the other day. For all the things I've done on YouTube so far, actually designing my own sort of merchandise and something that I'm planning on doing outside of YouTube in the future. And... Um, Knowing that those designs are out in people's hands as either a coffee mug or a t-shirt, it's one of the best feelings I've had so far. Now, where did I leave that tavern? That's it over there. So, yeah, anyways, check out the Magsware store as well. I am going to try and separate it a little bit so the aviation stuff is separate from everything else. And, um, 
yeah, hopefully I should have something up there very soon. Until next time, guys, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.